If you see miniaturized hairs or villous hairs, I have good news. There's a great chance that you can get your terminal hairs back just as you left them. I am AQBS and this is Back to the Barber. of hair loss or male pattern balding, you always think of hairs being miniaturized and at the end of the miniaturization is the villus hair. On the flip end of it, we view villus hairs as kind of like peach fuzz where it's not really meant to be anything other than like a skin carpet kind of, for lack of better words. And it really is not the same hair that you have on your head or underneath your arms, right? The villus hair appears to be translucent, colorless, very, very fine, short, and it kind of sticks static in that position. And it's almost as if it is different than the hair on top of your head. I used to think that too, until I realized how false that is. And let me explain it to you. The reason why your hair is terminal, then it goes down the path of being miniaturized to the point where you only see villas, is that what you really saw was a terminal hair that the hormones, the circulation, everything that was able to feed this particular follicle to produce this terminal hair is miniaturized and becomes smaller and less efficient to the point where only thing it can produce is what we define as the villus hair. So what does that tell you? That tells you that the villus hair is not different than terminal hair. It is simply a terminal hair in its most basic form. When you attempt to restore your hair, you're going to find that the villus hairs will be able to shift to terminal hairs. I'm going to put up a few pictures there of random pictures of myself where you would see a villus hair and you would see that it is a little white tip. And on top of that white tip, you notice it was turning slowly melanated. And all of a sudden, when I changed the conditions of the scalp, got rid of calcification and fibrosis, not all of it, but a lot of it. And the most important part is to apply a stimulant. The stimulant seems to take the follicle out of the villus stage. And that is the operative word stage into a terminal stage. And that is what your minoxidil does. So on one end, minoxidil kind of keeps the blood vessels and arteries etc. loose, right? It doesn't calcify as fast. But on the other end, it seems to also be sort of a stimulant. And that stimulation is what causes the change from the villus stage to the terminal stage. What is beautiful about this, this video is that villus stage means that all you have to do is get a villus hair. And if you do see villus hairs, you really should be happy because that just tells you that the villus hairs are just unfertilized. And I'll explain myself what I mean by that. In order for you to get even to the actual, let's say, villus stage, many of you only see right now a bald skin. Now, rather you're Norwood three or four or five or seven, like I used to be, you will see areas crown frontal temples that just shows bald skin and if you rub your finger across it you really don't feel villus hairs they're underneath there and because male pattern balding or androgenetic alopecia isn't scarring alopecia for the most part we know that the follicles are intact they are just in a comatose telogen state in order to get the follicles to show you villus hairs there are two main things you have to do 
the first most important thing is to do some sort of scalp peel some using some sort of um, acid and a light acid salicylic acid and or something like apple cider vinegar along with the derma roller will take a l- little bit of time and you can use other mainstream products for a scalp peel though but the point is the scalp peel is going to get rid of at least the skin layers that do not belong there once you get rid of the uh, extra skin on top of the follicles and you can actually see with your visual eye little dots in your scalp pretty soon after that two three months you will start getting villous hairs up here on your scalp now i showed you pictures prior on videos and i didn't have any villous hairs now i'm going to show you this picture of me standing in a hotel in atlanta that was me and my wife's um anniversary and I took that picture not realizing what I was going to see. At this point, I had been doing back to the barber regimen that I created. Nothing like the one I have now. It was just basic kind of starting out. And as you notice, in the sunlight, you notice that those all that villas hair. Now, it was extremely a happy moment for me because I knew then that I could restore my high school hairline. I had no idea how long it was going to take or the fact that all of those follicles will not stay. And, and what I mean by, I shouldn't say all of the follicles, all of those villous hairs will not stay. Many of them will have to fall out in order for the mass population of hairs to appear. What a villous hair is, it stands for a follicle that is turned on or in a state of telogen or comatose. It is just missing all of its connectivity. So this follicle is not all the way whole. It's as if it is missing something that would allow it to be more than just a pore. But see, pores do not produce villous hairs. You have to find a way to reactivate this follicle. And generally speaking, this is due micro injury. Now, once the follicle is activated, you will see the, the villous hairs appear. And over time, the Seemingly, the dermal papilla or the follicle itself will begin to expand and it will begin to root more so that it can find uh, proper circulation. Regarding this proper uh, circulation piece, we seem to need androgens in order for the hair to appear terminal, which is funny because DHT is an androgen and we are trying to suppress androgens in order to, to regrow our hair back. But there's a delicate balance between having androgens readily available to grow hair and the wrong androgen that doesn't belong in the scalp anyway. So estrogen and testosterone seems to be good balance of each other. And when you have both of these associated with with each other in the body and the scalp, things seem to be fine. When you see DHT, you can almost bet that there is inflammation. And you can almost bet there's also there's a condition of the scalp that is not really good for hair anyway. And you can almost bet that if DHT gets to a certain threshold, you will start getting miniaturization of the follicles. What's important about this androgen in the scalp, it seems to be like sperm meeting the egg. I always call a follicles feminine because they are they act kind of like a placenta they kind of act like a uterus well a uterus has the egg but until that sperm hits the egg nothing happens and it's just like that when it comes to the androgens so you do need test and it may be various different forms of testosterone but the form that men in both men and women need seem to grow hair But when it's converted to DHT, the opposite seems to happen. And we see this forward and in reverse. For example, if you have a woman who begins to lose estrogen, beautiful hair, long hair, etc., she starts losing estrogen due to a disease or something like that, probably age-related, possibly. And what happens is the villous hairs that she had on her face on her chin, they begin to turn terminal. And that happens a lot of time when the androgen 
estrogen balance is thrown off. Now her villus hairs and peach fuzz actually turns to terminal hairs. And they are obviously, most women don't like that. They pick them out, do laser, but it's the same as that concept. When a teenage boy has peach fuzz and a little bit of hair on his must, you know, mustache area above his lip and his chin, you would notice as he begins to go through puberty and testosterone begins to grow within his body, he begins to turn that peach fuzz to villus hairs to actually terminal hairs. And that is the stages of hair. It's peach fuzz, then it's a villus hair, then it's the terminal hair. They are all the same thing and they're from the same follicles, okay? As long as things stay balanced with a woman, she will have hair on the head, a little on the body, and probably none on the face for the most part. Now, if you would take her from omega type of conditions to alpha, she would lose hair on her head. She would have more head, I'm sorry, more hair on her arms and legs. And then she'll start getting, depends on how bad it gets, hair on the face. So thus, a follicle is feminine. And what impregnates the follicle is the androgens. And villus hairs are nothing but terminal hairs that have not been impregnated by androgens. The last thing I want to say about this is remember, your follicles want to produce hair. They want to produce hair. And if they are able to produce villus, then what that tells you is they are healthy enough to produce an egg, but the environment is not allowing a real androgen to impregnate that follicle. So your focus would be on to suppress DHT, the false androgen for hair. DHT seems to appear as test. Now, if I were to look at the molecule, it would probably be pretty similar to test. So it can bind to the same areas as testosterone. But instead of it converting to some sort of growth hormone, it does the opposite and it causes miniaturization. So that's my video for today. Hopefully something here has helped you halt hair loss and or restored. If so, hit the like or subscribe. If not, give another video a chance. I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting, but if I can do it, you all can do it too. Let's get you back to the barber.